What if I told you that making money online is really simple? However, you haven't made money online yet because you've overcomplicated the process so much that you've got yourself twisted up like a pretzel. And in this video, we are going to untie that pretzel and I'll reveal the simple approach that I and many others like me have used to simply make money online. Hi, right, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you wanna be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province or country and I'll get you pinned. Now today we are going to tackle three big questions. Number one, what's the first step to make money online? Number two, how much time and money will it take me to start making some money online? And number three, if it's so easy, why are so many people failing to make money online? The great news with this video is I'm going to answer those three questions and more so that you have a very simple, very basic approach to actually putting money into your pockets. Now, before we get into that, I'm sure you're wondering, can I actually turn this side hustle, this make Make money online thing into a full-time career well the simple answer is yes but let me show you three examples of everyday people just like you and me who have already taken the leap now if we jump into my computer here I'm gonna show you three examples of people that are already doing it and hopefully you're able to see the common theme that each one of these three people share number one this person just 17 years old two thousand dollars into an Amazon side hustle that's making thirty four thousand dollars per month I'll put a link to each one of these articles so that you can check it out for yourself but at just 17 years old and hint here she's doing hamsters and, and gerbils she turned it into thirty four thousand dollars per month number two this person 42 year old brings in an average of forty one thousand dollars per month just from their podcast and he only works five hours per week and number three this 30 year old works two hours a day on her side hustle and makes twenty two thousand dollars per month and passive income. Now she uses websites like Etsy, Society6, and even Target to make money. Again, I'll put a link to each one of these articles in the description so that you can see yourself. Now that you see real people like you and me are making money online, let's talk about the first steps required for you to actually start making money online. Now before I reveal the actual step you need to take, let me reveal how I learned about this step. You see, I learned about this step about nine years ago when we first learned that we were gonna have twins. At the time, I was making about $48,000 per year, but once we learned I was having twins, I realized that $48,000 wasn't going to be enough for a family that would be doubling in size just a few short months later. So what did I do? Like any good husband, I ran to the internet and I started typing in things like make money online, how to double my income, skills needed to make money. And of course, there were tons of blogs, YouTube videos, Facebook posts, revealing hundreds of ways to make money online. And chances are, if you're seeing this video, you probably searched something similar. You probably typed in keywords like how to make money online, how to work from home, skills needed to increase my earning potential. And just like that, I'm showing up right in front of you on your TV, phone, desktop, or tablet. So I'm sure you're wondering, what does all of this have to do with the first step to actually making money online? And it's simple, really. The first step to actually making money online is simply identifying questions or problems people have. Now, whenever someone has a question or they have a problem, they run to Google, they run to YouTube, and they simply start asking questions. For example, they're asking questions like how to smoke a beef brisket, how to get your dog to stop peeing in the house, and what are the best types of microphones for podcasters? And just to show you that this is what's actually happening, let me give you a few more examples of questions people are asking. So if we jump back into my computer, I typed in how many in a paid keyword research tool, and there are over 13 million search results and 85 million searches per month where people are asking questions like how many weeks in a year, how many ounces in a cup, how many days until Christmas. Also, if we look, people are asking best cologne for men, best walking shoes for women, best pillow for side sleepers. Now there's over 9 million of those keywords, and that's being asked 57 million times per month. And I'm sure you're saying, Austin, that's great, but are there any free tools out there that can give you this type of information? Well, this free keyword research tool, I typed in where to buy, and you can see that there are 1.9 million keywords where people are asking questions like where to buy stamps, where to buy dry ice, and where to buy PS5. So as you can see by these three examples, people go to the internet and they're asking all sorts of questions 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, if you can identify just one group of problems that people are asking, you have completed the first step to actually 
actually making money online. Now, once you've identified these problems, you're simply going to create content to help solve that problem. Now, later in this video, I'll actually reveal the best type of content to create so that can save you time and help you make money a little bit quicker. One example, if someone is searching how long to smoke a beef brisket, you could create a YouTube video or even a blog post answering that very question. In that piece of content, you are simply going to walk viewers or readers through the process of smoking a beef brisket including taking it out of the refrigerator and placing it on the smoker. And then the end of the video culminates with the exact length of time it would take someone to smoke a beef brisket. Now, hopefully you're saying, Alston, I understand about finding questions or problems, but where's the money, Lebowski? And believe it or not, the money is actually in the solution. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to sell stuff the audience needs to help them solve their problem faster or easier. So going back to our beef brisket example, if I'm creating content showing someone how long to smoke a beef brisket, they probably need specialized gloves, they might need a pellet smoker grill, or they might need other accessories that will help them smoke their meat faster, better, easier, but it tastes better for the party of five that they're serving. Now again, all the things that I mentioned, whether it's the smoking gloves, a smoker, or even the pellets used to smoke will help make their life easier and help them cook things a little bit faster. Now you may not have your own specialized gloves or your own smoker. What you can do is you can actually sell or promote other people's products as an affiliate marketer. Another option is you could get into drop shipping or even print on demand. If you can source the specialized gloves somewhere, you can put your name right on it. Now, if you don't have your own specialized gloves, another option is selling or promoting other people's products with affiliate marketing. For example, you could become an affiliate of Amazon where they have hundreds, if not thousands of these specialized gloves at all different price points. Another option is you could actually create a course teaching people how to smoke different types of meats. But the key point here I want to convey is you identify one problem, you create content to solve that problem, and then you can monetize or make money by helping the viewer or reader solve their problem faster or easier. Now that we have that first step taken care of, you might be wondering how much time per day am I going to have to dedicate to this and how long will it take before I actually start seeing a return on my time investment? Let me quickly paint you another picture to answer this question. Nine years ago when I first got started, back in my day, we only had YouTube, we had blogging, and we had Facebook groups. If you wanted to start a blog, that meant spending hours simply writing and then months before you could start seeing your first viewer reading your content. If you started a YouTube channel incorrectly, as many people do, you would waste hundreds of hours creating videos, editing, and uploading before even seeing any viewers whatsoever. And unfortunately, at this time, Facebook groups are filled with so many scammers and spammers, it's hard to really stand out from the crowd and show people that you actually have helpful content and you want to serve them. Now, this all changed about five years ago with the adoption of short format videos. Companies like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels have really changed the game when it comes to creating content. What used to take hours, now takes minutes. So to answer your question, if you decide to create short format videos like TikToks or YouTube Shorts, you could spend about three hours per week on your online business. In yesterday's video, you have the potential to start seeing money within a few days or a few months, depending on if you're selling digital products or using affiliate marketing. And now you're probably asking, if making money online is so simple, why do so many people fail at trying to make money online? Now, this is a really great question. And let me answer this question by one more short personal story. When I first got started trying to make money online, I was spending a lot of time trying to cut corners. In fact, I call it stepping over dollars to pick up pennies. Now, what I was doing is I was trying to use done for you software that was against the terms of service that just didn't work. I would spend hours trying to complete survey sites and I simply would spam my affiliate link because that's what another YouTube guru told me to do. Now, it wasn't until I slowed down that I realized that making money online is all about three things. Consistency, persistence and connecting problems to solutions. Now we've already talked about connecting problems to solutions. Right now we're going to focus on consistency and persistence. Now if you want to make money online, you have to show up consistently every single day. I like to think about new online businesses kind of like a part-time job except for you don't get paid for it. With your part-time job or side hustle or online business, you're going to be spending a lot of time up front learning the ropes, learning how to create content, learn how to put systems in place, all of which you're not gonna get paid for. Now, what I recommend that you do is you show up to your job every single day. When you're sick, show up. When you don't feel like it, show up. When your friends are out partying at the club, you show up to your online business or job. 
I recommend pretending like there's a person standing over your shoulder, checking on your work to make sure that you are progressing every single day. Next is persistence. Your new online business is going to run into speed bumps that feel like roadblocks. Now speed bumps are things that slow you down like those little bumps in the uh, mall parking lot and roadblocks are things that are going to make you change direction like a downed tree after a huge snowstorm. Now in the beginning, everything is going to feel like a roadblock. You can't change the color on your website. That's gonna feel like a roadblock when it's really a speed bump. Believe me, you can figure out these little things if you are persistent. Now if you're using trademark names and images, that's going to be a roadblock where you need to stop immediately and change your direction. And you're also gonna need to be persistent when those negative thoughts start creeping into your head. You're gonna need to be persistent when that little voice tells you this isn't working, you suck, you can't do it, and this only works for people that live in the United States. If you can fight the internal and external obstacles that are placed in front of you, you can be successful online. Now tell me, do you feel more comfortable about this making money online puzzle? Well, there is a little bit more to learn. Watch this video next to learn about five untapped niches that you could start in 2024.